All right, what's up everyone? It's me, Jackson. We're back with another video today. And finally, we're doing something with the G. Um, it's been a while, I've been doing a lot of fish videos. We're gonna do an update on that because I changed a bunch of stuff. I didn't feel like doing a video on it, but we got something new for the G and- uh, All right, so here it is. I changed a little bit, there's more plants. There's some amethyst in there. Some plants up there, and there's a snail in there, snail there. So, we got a bunch of mystery snails. As you can see, all the fish are in here the two smaller geophagus and the big one. All right, I think the big one's been in here. Um, we got two silver dollars back there. I've I had rams, and they, ke they keep disappearing, and I have no idea why, and I don't know where they are. I had one, I had two, about two more. Woke up, had one, and now he's not here. I have no clue where he is. But the red tail is under there, doing good. We got the knife fish. You got this this grass stuff. The the African butterfly fish loves it. He just sits up there. That's a piece of um, petrified wood that I've had for a while. Put that back there. But other than that, this tank's looking very good. We added a bunch of snails. There's the tire track eel sitting in there. Dojo Loach is over there. All right, guys. This is what the 30 gallon looks like now. We changed the rocks. The old one was super smelly. Like, it was disgusting. It kept getting algae blooms. So I took it out. I think it was the decoration. The decoration smelled horrible when I took it out. But we painted the back black. We got a sponge filter for it. Added a bunch of cool rocks. Got a piece of wood, some geodes, more... Got a piece of gra or granite, a uh, piece of uh, quartz right there. We got it all set up. It looks good. I just set it up yesterday, so it's cycling for a while. And then we did a sponge filter for this one, added a rock. I need to get real wood for this, but I think I'm going to put the super reds in here once this is a little bit more cycled. And I think I'm going to do super reds in here. And then I'm going to use this tank to grow snails and placos until they're big enough to go in here. But we did a sponge filter because the filter I had on it just wasn't working how I wanted it to. So we did a sponge filter and we added that little light and it has a bubble wall. But my dog got to it, I think. And so there's a hole right there. So we could probably fix that and then it'll look better. But I love the way the light looks. It makes the ambience way better. All right, guys, this is what's next for the G. As you can see... We got likewise shift knob, and we also have a shift boot here. Let's unbox this and show you what I got. All right, so first up, we got this shift boot from Six Speed. It's black with some purple stitching. It's pretty nice. It's suede. We here we have the Daytona shift knob from Likewise. We got the keychain, the shift knob adapter, and we got the shift boot retainer in here. Um, they also sent us this cool sticker, and uh, let me show you what the shift knob looks like. Boom. Very nice. It's pretty nice and heavy too. But basically for the overall color, obviously as you can tell, is we're going with the purple on the inside. How the Ultima was blue. This time we're doing purple. And uh, yeah, let's go start putting this in the car. This off. Well, first, take the shift knob off. Bye bye leather Nismo. Disconnect these connectors. Maybe.
Alright guys, so instead of unscrewing, you just poke these little clips out of the bottom of this, and that's how you get the shift boot off. Alright, now we got the shift boot in, we got the shift boot retainer, we got the one that came on it, taken off, it literally just, you flip it inside out and zip tie it. Now that's on, so now we gotta put that on, and then we gotta do the, the adapter, and then the shift knob. Alright, we got it back on, so now, let's open the shift knob retainer and uh, let's get that installed on here that's tight and now it's time for the shift knob All right, guys, I even put a little keychain on there where everyone puts it. Let me see if it gets in the way at all. Oh, it looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We got the shift knob installed. It looks really great. Thank you, likewise. All right, guys, that was just a quick little video. And new modification for the g we hopefully we'll have a lot more stuff coming soon i have a long list of modifications and add-ons that i really want to do but yeah this is just a little short one but i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video peace